This video will demonstrate basic navigation of Blacksmith 3D Suite. After viewing this video, you'll see just how easy it is to navigate around your models. As you will see, the Auto Center feature makes it especially easy to rotate and zoom around any point in the scene without having to be constantly adjusting your viewing position. Okay, let's get started. We will start off by selecting the Pan View tool, which is the familiar hand icon that you've seen in most 2D graphics applications. Click on the icon, and then click and drag in the main viewport. Now notice how the smaller viewports to the left are updating as well. That is because they are set to be in sync with the main viewport, as indicated by the word Auto you see here, but we'll talk more about that later. Let us now take a look at the Zoom View tool. Zooming a Blacksmith 3D suite can be done in one of two ways, as you're about to see. First, let us choose the familiar magnifying glass icon over here, and notice how the continuous zoom option is unchecked. With this option unchecked, the zoom tool behaves more like one found in most 2D graphics applications. Simply drag out a box around the area that you would like to zoom into, release, and voila, we have zoomed into the framed area. Simple enough. And we can do this a few more times to illustrate the point. Now, like the familiar 2D zoom, holding the Alt key right, will uh, make a minus sign appear in the icon. And then if we click in the viewport, we will zoom out a step. Several clicks will allow us to zoom out several steps. It's a very familiar workflow. Now, if we check the continuous zoom option, then the zoom tool behaves more like a traditional 3D zoom, where you click and drag in the viewport to vary the level of zoom. Now, at this time, let me draw your attention to the Auto Center option in the Tool window. If we click on a point in the surface and begin to zoom, that point will quickly drift towards the center of the viewport. This is an extremely handy option for quickly focusing in on a point of interest, especially when using the Rotate View tool, which you're about to see. By far, the trickiest part of learning how to navigate in any 3D application is figuring out exactly how the rotate view works. Every 3D application does it a bit different, some are easy to figure out, some not, and some take some practice. We're going to show you how it's done in Blacksmith 3D Suite. Now let us choose the rotate view tool. Click on the model in the viewport and drag it left to right, up and down, and observe how it rotates in the viewport. It seems simple enough, but there's a, there's a couple of key points to note here. When designing Blacksmith 3D Suite, we wanted the rotation to feel as natural as possible. With that in mind, we made all the rotations relative to the current viewing orientation. That is, if you drag horizontally, it will always rotate in that direction. And likewise, if you drag vertically, it will always rotate in that direction. The second point to note here is using the Auto Center feature that we mentioned before. This is an extremely simple and extremely powerful option. Any point on the surface that you click instantly becomes the point of interest and will drift towards the center as we rotate. Instead of having to toggle between rotate, pan, rotate, pan, etc., we can do it all in one motion. This will dramatically speed up your workflow. You may have noticed that the rotations have only been taking place in two directions at this time. Let me draw your attention to the tilt direction in the tool window. Here, Click on tilt, or alternatively, press control, the control D hotkey to toggle it on or off. And click and drag in the viewport, and notice the different rotation, how it tilts along the axis of the viewport itself. As with all 3D applications, you'll be interested in viewing the models from preset angles, like front, left, top, etc. In Blacksmith 3D Suite, you can quickly change to one of these angles using the orientation box in the viewport, as you see here, or better yet, using the arrow hotkeys. Now, the down arrow it sets the view to front, while the up arrow sets the back. The left sets it to left, the right sets it to right. Shift down is for top while shift up is for bottom. Now you may ask yourself, why is the down arrow used for front? Well, if you look at the keyboard, the down arrow actually isn't pointing down, it's pointing towards you. Well, when you push that button, the model will be facing you, hence the front view. Likewise, for the back view, the up arrow is pointing away from you, the model is pointing away from you, hence back view. Auto Viewport let us now talk a bit about using multiple viewports and specifically the auto setting. Pressing the spacebar hotkey to make sure all four viewports are visible, we notice the three to the left have the word auto in the orientation. 
This keeps auxiliary viewports in sync with the main viewport, but let me navigate around to illustrate the point. Now notice how the viewport here says top auto. What this means is that this is the top view relative to the main viewport. So this is immediately on top of this view, and this is immediately left to this view, and this is immediately behind this view, as opposed to this absolute top, absolute left, and absolute back. It's extremely useful for keeping an eye on what's going on all these different angles as you're editing the model from the main view. This concludes our basic navigation tutorial. You should now be able to navigate around your 3D models with ease and be ready to start editing.